this is music. Nancy, there's a slice left if you want it. Sausage and pepperoni. Hold on. Fuck you, chicken strips. Mum's car. Broom, broom. Get out of my car! Aww. Hey, how y'all? <laughs> get your fucking dog, bitch! It don't bite. Yes, it do! Get the <laughs> Hey, man, what the- Oh, what the hell is wrong with you? Level up. Move, I'm gay. Hello and welcome to Standing Up School. <laughs> and you fail. No, get those lights off. Off. Turn them off. They're too. They're too bright. Turn them off. <laughs> Screw gravity. Oh my God. Look at all those chickens. My hair is so much longer now. Oh my god. Hey, how's it going? So here's where we're at. The coronavirus almost completely left. Um, we were down quite a bit uh, at the beginning. Um, well, since the beginning, I mean. Uh, and then it came back with a vengeance. Someone decided to go out clubbing in Itaewon and then it just spread from there. Um, the coronavirus, so last, last time um, my city managed to get away with like one or two people, but like, you know, we, we were fine. We were pretty much solid being in the arse end of nowhere, not, not worrying a damn, a, a damn bit, but um, <laughs> Yeah, we now have quite a big, a big situation because an old, uh, an older, an older couple decided to pay their bills with cash, not realizing that they had the coronavirus. So that spread like wildfire, and as a result of that, uh, once again, I've been myself in lockdown we had to shut the school we had to shut the school and do online classes two weeks ago last last week maybe it was a tuesday it always happens on a tuesday we always shut on tuesday interesting um i turned 24 had my first birthday away from home that was spent 
crying my eyes out the entire time. I'm gonna go check on my breakfast. Hold on a second. What else happened? I do have a brand new phone. Yes, okay, it is the BTS phone. Right, so here's the thing. Here's, here's what happened. So, so that I could have this phone, a lot happened. A lot. So Samsung decided they would release the BTS phone. And, um, you know, everything, I didn't think I'd be getting one because they sold out. The first time they were releasing Korea, they sold out like that. It was so difficult to try and find something, try, try and find one. So I was like, oh, I'll just stick with my iPhone 11 because like it was, it's on the verge of my iPhone 7. It's on the verge of dying anyway. I need a new phone anyway. But it just so happened that Samsung were like, actually, we're going to do a couple more batches. We're going to do a couple more batches of this and then we're just going to leave it like that. So I was like, Ooh, this could be my chance. So I, I managed to save last month and keep and keep some money back for this. And um, and I was like, yes, yes, I'm gonna have the money. I'm gonna have enough money. I'm gonna get me a new phone. It's gonna be the really pretty BTS phone. And like, to be fair, it's a good phone. It's a very good phone. But like, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have the new BCS phone. It's gonna be great. And like, you know, I bought, I also bought the, the buds that go with it. Cause like, wire? Who wants wire? Well, you can have wire less. Am I right? Am I right? But now I'm on a really tight budget. And like, I was gonna try and get this phone like on my own. But the problem is when I first moved to Korea, my boss opened my bank for me. And because I didn't have a mobile phone, because I didn't have my alien registration card, I couldn't put my own mobile number next to the account. So I can't buy from Korean websites because it's not my mobile phone that I have to put in, it's his. Which, you know, if you're trying to buy things online from a Korean website, it's not, it's not good, you can't do that. Like I was always gonna buy a sofa. And I was like, well, hang on a minute, because he also gets alerts about my account to his phone. So if I buy a sofa, he's gonna be like, why'd you buy a sofa? And I'm like, well, I want a sofa. I wanna sit on my bed all the time, because comfort. But I can't, I can't buy the sofa because he'll know. And then, I'll, and then just more questions will be asked that I don't wanna deal with. You, you know what I mean? So I can't do that. And. I, I tried to buy this direct from Samsung myself, but I couldn't do that because it was his mobile phone number attached to my account, so I couldn't sneak this. So he ended up sat in the reception area on the phone to Samsung with a picture of BTS on the screen, on the computer screen. All the kids were coming in and out of the, of the school, purchasing this phone for me. And then it arrived and I find, found out that this was the first phone in my city. This was, this was the first BTS phone to enter the city. According to the Samsung manufacturers. What is my life? Why am I like this? My rice is burning. That's where I'm at right now. I don't really know what else I can say. That's just, that's just, that's all that's happened since March. Is that the last time that I uploaded? Or filmed something? Because like, I still have a vlog waiting to be uploaded. March, April? I don't know. I don't know, Jeff. I don't know, Jeff, has it? So I have about 20 minutes so i'm gonna wolf my food down straight in my fringe put my hair back put some actual trousers on because right now i'm just getting leggings and uh, you can't go to work wearing leggings i mean i could but um my top's not quite long enough so you might well, i mean it is quite long i could go to work wearing my leggings and make my legs a lot cooler I don't know, we'll see. But I'll probably end up putting, putting trousers on. And then I'll leave. 
So that's where we're at right now. I made soap Saturday. I made soap. It's very cute. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I made soap. That's where we're at. I don't I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Like there's a supermarket underneath my academy, right? So a couple of weeks ago, I go into the supermarket because I'm like, you know, a girl is, is hungry. And, um, <laughs> and while I was in there, I saw that BTS had done a Chilsung Cider um, advertisement and that there was this packet of two Chilsung Cider peach um, drinks. And I really, uh, do I still have the box? I might still have the box. I do have the box. Two peach ciders. And um, I was like, oh, don't mind if I do. And like, to be fair, super tasty. Anyway, right? Um, I, I go in there on Friday because again, your girl needs needs some sugar. She needs some snackage. And then the woman behind the counter. Well, no. First of all, the woman behind the counter was like, "Oh my God, are you a fan?" I was like, "Yeah, I am a little bit." And she was like, "So, which member's your favourite?" And I was like, "Well, you know, oh, I love all of them, but..." my my youngie my sugar you know he, he got my heart and she was like oh okay cool and then a couple uh friday i um i go into the store again because once again i need some snackage i need a drink and um and she's she's got up on papa go she's like I've got this, I've got this sugar poster um, coming this time on Monday and I'll give it to you. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God, no, you don't have to, but thank you. That's really kind of you, but thank you. She's like, no, just come in on Friday, like, on Monday. Like, what? what's the big deal? Anyway, I go in again today. I forget, I, I forgot that she said that. So I go in again on, I go in again today and she's like, ah, there you are, okay. So I, I walk out of that store with a small bottle of orange juice, some Twix, and a poster of Min Yungi. <laughs> so not only do I ignore the state of my of my wardrobe by now, but not only do I have Yungi on my door, but I also have my map of the Soul Seven past. <laughs> well, hello there. This is Mel from the future with even longer hair, and so many more spots on her face love that for me just wanted to give you an update on the poster situation as if you care so, <laughs> so bts have done or did do a baskin robbins commercial deal sponsorship brand type issue uh me being me obviously obsessed so what happened was on my it's the black swan poster that you saw just a second ago uh, that was in the way because it needed to make room for this <laughs> oh yeah so i have a huge bts baskin robbins poster here and the black swan one that you that uh, was in that wardrobe is now in my wardrobe with my jumpers don't don't look at my jumpers I keep they keep being a mess also bought this ugly raincoat and I love it it's the best thing since sliced bread okay that is all thank you thank you for watching Hello and welcome.
welcome to Takeout Tuesday. <laughs> so every Tuesday. I've gotten into the habit now of every Tuesday ordering something or bringing home some food, sitting down and watching Run BTS. Normally I have either a McDonald's or I have a Lotteria vegan burger because let me tell you something, even as a non-vegan, that is a bloody good burger. That's a fantastic burger. 10 out of 10 would recommend. But I had a craving for tteokbokki and all of the trimmings and trappings that go with it. So your girl is chowing down, y'all. Okay, bye. Any minute now, those heavens are about to open and we're about to see a whole storm of God knows what coming down. <sighs> Save me. Help me. I'm gonna have to go to work in, okay, an hour. To be fair, it's an hour, but I do need to stop off at a 7-Eleven to get some snacks because I have no food in my house. Don't judge me. Not even two seconds after I turned the camera off and I was drying my hair. I don't know if you can see that. That's a whole lot of rain coming down. Good God. And guess which bitch's outfit requires her to wear shoes that let in the water? <laughs> uh oh. Oh, it's on Zoom. Still. Oh. Oh well. Oopsie. My bad. But seriously, my feet are screwed. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I was gonna go out now. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna change my mind. I might call into work sick. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, so it's 2 a.m. So obviously I can't do anything right now, but I've been having a little bit of an issue with my apartment recently in that I am not bored, I just I haven't maximised everything to its fullest of potentials. The problem is I have this itch and I, obviously I can't do it now because it's 2am but I want to rearrange my apartment so that in my eyes it does reach its full potential. <laughs> Because right now my bed is in a really weird place in the apartment and I've got problems with my vanity set and I've got no F in my BTS albums and obviously, you know, it's really traumatising for me. So, here, I, 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 I may or may not at 2am on a Friday, well, on a, on a Saturday technically, but at 2am I may or may not have just recreated my entire apartment in The Sims so I could lay out how I want my real life apartment to look and I'm not gonna lie to you it's freaking awesome okay so as you come into my apartment usually you've got the little bit where you take off your shoes and then you have the shoe cupboard which is just there then you've got my bathroom which is in there oh yeah it's so hard doing this with one hand so my bathroom which is in there you turn around, you have my kitchen area, so you've got the cleaning cupboard, my fridge, and then obviously the rest of my kitchen. Right now, all of my BTS albums, and I'm literally just doing this to make it easier for me to move my BTS albums, but my BTS albums were on that shelf, along with my Ganesha, Buddha, and Budai. And then I had some figurines there as well, and a kettle and then mugs down at the bottom, okay? But in my new idea, this entire kitchen shelving unit will be dedicated solely to statues and mug, 
mugs. I'm gonna move my kettle because as cute as it is, it's taking up space and space is what I don't have. I also have my rice cooker on top of my microwave, but obviously the Sims don't have a rice cooker. So I can't do that. Okay, so moving on, you've got the desk, which is where it always has been, but on the desk, because I don't use my desk anymore, I use my vanity table and my dining table technically. So instead, my desk will just be an extra shelf. So on that, I will keep my kalimba clock photo of my family and my BTS albums, and that's it. Everything else will be going into a drawer or finding its own home elsewhere. Then, and this is where the real, the real magic happens. Are you ready? I plan on, oh my God. I plan on <laughs> moving my dining table to where my bed is, moving my bed up against the wall and the window so that I've kind of got like that whole brightness. And then maybe if I know that I'm staying, maybe get in a sofa and put in the sofa there, you know, because in the, where, where I'm putting my, dining table if I have people over they can still see the main wall from my from 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 the sofa area but if I turn around you've obviously got that main wall for projecting so if people come over they can sit on the sofa they could sit on my bed they can sit on the chairs and I could put my projector up here and then we can all watch it together and it would look really good. So, in conclusion, tomorrow morning before I go out and meet Hey Wan and the other girls, I'm going to be moving my damn apartment around. <laughs> all to accommodate, to properly accommodate some albums. Because here's my issue, right? So that's what the shelving units look like now. I was originally going to move my albums to the windowsill because look at how cute that looks. I was going to have my DVDs on the one side, the actual albums on the other, and I've got TXT on that side, and it's adorable. Problem is, there's a lot of sun that comes into this room, and those albums are going to get discoloured pretty sharpish, and I don't want that. I've paid enough friggin' money for those. I'm keeping them as good as I possibly can, which is why they're no longer there, because whenever I cook my rice, the steam from the rice cooker goes up, and I'm worried that it's gonna make the album sticky or gross. And to be fair, I've had the rice, the rice cooker and the albums for the last seven months, but, <laughs> you know, I remember the state of my old kitchen before we had the refurb. <sighs> the steam, the steam that mixed with the dust. Like, no thank you, my albums are not gonna end up like my old kitchen, thank you very much. So, they're gonna be moved onto my desk, which is an absolute mess right now, which I'm not gonna show you. And that's where we're at right now at 2 a.m. So, tomorrow, what I'm gonna do, I keep doing this, I keep, <laughs> I keep trying to film myself after I've zoomed in. You know what? Just just take a look at my just tap here's my face in all its glory. Thank God I am still wearing makeup. Nah, <laughs> okay. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> this is this is what my family see when I FaceTime them. I'm like, hey, how's it going guys? How you doing? Anyway, moving on. Um I forgot what I was gonna say now. Great. That's my plan for tomorrow. What's yours? I should really get some sleep. This is ridiculous.